G'day guys, welcome back. It's resin day and I'm going to revisit my little petri paws. Um, now hopefully most of you or all of you have been watching Daniel Cooper and his amazing little petri paws that he's been doing. So I have been waiting very patiently for my Let's Resin Opaque inks to arrive because Let's, Let's Resin will not ship to Australia. They just won't. I've emailed them, I've messaged them and they just basically say no. So a lovely lady by the name of Sid Hart. Hi Sid, love you. <laughs> she sent me uh, a pack of the Opaque Let's Resin. So if Sid can do it, why can't Let's Resin do it? Come on, Let's Resin, get your act together. Start shipping to us in Australia or whoever else wants them. There's, there's no reason why they can't do it. Um, I get resin from all over the world. <clears throat> I also got this. I got this from Amazon. This is the one that Daniel Cooper uses. Um, so hopefully it'll work. I haven't tried it yet. It's got a really strange name. HXDZFX. Go figure. Weird, hey? Now, that's the A, that's the resin, that's the B, that's the hardener. I put them on the scales. This one weighs 540 grams, uh, 530, sorry. This one weighs 480. So there's 50 grams difference. So you know how I always make A a little bit heavier than B? That's why, because A is heavier than B. So I've got 25 grams of A, I've got 23 grams or 22 grams of B, just a little bit. Otherwise, if you use equal amounts, by the end of it, you're going to have some left in that and then none of that. So that's what I've done in here right so hopefully you guys have seen these that I've made so this is my bluey green one and this is my purpley pinky yellow one so I'm going to go again but <clears throat> I'm going to use just the opaque inks I'm not going to drop white on them because they've already got white in them so this is exciting I've been waiting for this for ages so I'm going to get these out of the way these four here <clears throat> will have uh, cobalt blue, dark green, and a sapphire blue. Now I'll stir this just gently for three minutes. I don't want to fill them all the way to the top because I do need some room left for the resin. I'm just going to put a bit in each and then we'll see. Hopefully I've made it. I'm not sure how much I need for eight, but I figured I must be able to do six. Yep, I should be able to get eight done. And I'm just doing the round ones because I've got the um, the pendant bezels for the round ones. These guys here, I've got those. Oh, hopefully, I haven't put too much in. You might have a little bit much. They're starting to dome. <laughs> I don't want them to dome. All right, let's have a little look across the top and see. If they're all about the same, you can have a little bit more. Like, I'm not going to put a lot of ink in, you know. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to add, actually. But I'm not going to put a lot of ink in. So, and I do want them to come up to the top when they are full. A tiny little bit left. Right, so I'm going to use my little blowtorch here. It's got a little cigarette lighter thingy in, the, in there. I'm just going to torch popping bubbles. Just got to be really careful that you don't torch your mold. There's a hair there. I thought I went on, got all the hairs, but there's still one there. There, got him. Right, how's it looking? I'm just going to torch again. I can see some bubbles in that one. So I've got my flood light on and then my ring light as well. So they actually are really good at picking up any bubbles or hair or anything because of the shine that they cast. Still some bubbles. Hopefully they'll disappear as we go along. Right, um, now this little thing came with the inks. Make sure you put gloves on when you do this because it's very messy. You have to take that and you have to pierce the top, okay, to allow the inks to come out. So, Let's get this show on the road. Move those out of the way. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. 
I better give them a good shake. I did shake them before, but I better shake them again just before I use them. I mean, the colours aren't as bright, obviously, because they've got white in them as your normal inks. I have also got a few other inks that... Oh, can't get the lid off. That I want to try, but I thought I'll do this one first. Rather than having two different brands at the same time, we'll try this one first. So I think I'm going to go... One, two, three. One, two, three. See, when Daniel does his his little um, pendants, his pendant tray, um, it's much smaller than mine. These are quite large. So I am adding more drops. And then it's wider across here, obviously. So I'm going to put four of the green. Three of the purple. Uh, actually, no, it's not purple. It looks purple. <laughs> it's blue. Looks purple. Oh, no, kind of purplish. And I'll put the green through the center there. All right, now they can just sit for a minute while I do these ones on the other side. So these are going to be this one here, the purple and the pink and the yellow. I really like the yellow and the pink going into each other. They make this sort of orangish tone, which is really pretty. So that one is called purple. This one is called raspberry. And then this one is just called yellow. So let's see how they go. They're going to go up here. So I'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. Kind of spurted a bit. And then the pink. It's got a wider area to cover, so I'm going to go with the four. And then the three again. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to need, oops, another one there. I'm not sure if I'm going to need a second layer. I might just zoom you in a little bit now that I've done those, if I can. Hang on. All right, we zoomed a little bit. It's as far as I can get in there. So let's have a little look. So I can see a few areas where... I've got some clear, so I'm going to go and put in a little bit more just to cover those clear areas that I can see with the corresponding colour. And if one's sort of pulling away from the edge a little bit and I can see <clears throat> down into the mould and it's looking a little bit clear, I'll add another one there as well. So I'll put a little bit more of the, the yellow in that one and that one. I think some colours, from what I've seen previously in my videos, some colours aren't, maybe they're not as um, heavy and they don't drop so much. There's a little bit of clear there. I'm going to pop a bit of the pink just in that one. And you can have a little bit more pink as well. Like so. Just got to be careful you don't muddy, that's all. How's it looking? I can still see a little bit of clear edges there. I'm not I'm really not sure if I need to do two layers or just one layer but for this today for this experiment I'll just do the one layer like that uh, the yellow certainly is pulling away from the side and I can see down so it may be that the yellow is one of those colors that just doesn't have as good coverage as some of the other colors we'll just add a little bit more yellow I think the other ones are pretty good. So I'm going to come back in an hour. So the yellow looks as if it's pushed away, but hopefully it'll 
sort of come back again otherwise we might have a clear area there but we'll see I don't want to put any more in just yet oh look it's starting to move can you guys see it's starting to move back but resin always kind of wants to pull from the outside in so it is oh I don't think that's the right time I just put a new battery in my clock yesterday it's still showing wrong all right I'm going to come back in an hour um, and um, do the little swirl okay don't torch now because these are alcohol inks and uh, you may it may catch fire <laughs> so torch before you add your alcohol inks all right I'll come back in an hour and we'll do the swirl right -o. so it's been it's actually been just over an hour <laughs> I got sidetracked I um I was I'm baking a carrot cake with yummy cream cheese frosting so I've just put it in the oven I was washing the dishes and I thought, oh no, I wonder what time it is. So I'm about, it's about 10 minutes after the hour. So I'm just going to use a little pin and uh, do some little swirls here. And I've got my bit of paper towel to, to wipe my pin off afterwards. Righto, let's have a little look. I think I'm going to start in the middle and just do a... A swirl so you can see there's a little stringy when you lift up a, a section or at the end there's a tiny little string that follows a little thread and I think you can be a little ziggy zaggy like that I do think I prefer the circles though I always do circles because they're round um, let's see it's gonna be careful not to scratch my mold because they're they're domed like that you've got to be careful you know it's deeper in the middle obviously than it is on the edges so you just got to be careful all right that's those ones done let's do these ones when i was using the pinata inks i used to get a skin on the top and i really really hated that because when you swirl, you don't get a really nice swirl because of this sort of icky skin that's on top. I'll do a ziggy zaggy on you as well. So you only need to swirl the top really just to get the, the colours mixing in. You don't need to swirl very deep. Now I'm going to give them a torch because the swirling tends to bring a little bit of air or a little bit of bubbles into your mix. So just give it a quick little torch. I don't see any there, but you never know. I don't know if that's a hair or... No, no. It's probably just bubbles. It looks kind of like a hair, but I don't think it is. All right, so that's it. That's me done until tomorrow. And uh, we'll see if we can get a better outcome than that because that was with the white piñata, so it drops down. It's quite heavy uh, and it makes those little blobs. So we'll see if we can get a better reaction with just the, um, the opaques, hey? So, yeah, looking forward to that. I'm not quite sure how long this resin takes to set. Like with my some of my other thinner resins, like the two to ones, they set up pretty quickly, um, and you can unmold the same day. But I found that the one to ones, which are a thicker resin, tend to take longer to cure. So I'll probably have to wait till tomorrow. So anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I'm back. It's the next day. It was way too soft to um, demold last night. So, yeah, it just takes a bit longer, I think, for some resins. That's nice and hard. So, that... Oops, hang on, I better put you on autofocus. I thought I did. So, that's the effect I was getting with the piñata. A bit blobby. Sort of a wispy look for the bluey green. So, let's have a look and see what these are going to do. 
comes out nicely. That's the top. What it looks like with the swirl on it. Shall we have a look at the other side? Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, these lights are annoying, aren't they? Little looks like little UFOs. I don't know which ones they are. Which ones are they? Can I get rid of them? Probably not. Let's see if I can get a better shot for you. Because my camera's trying to focus on those lights now. I wonder what happens if I turn my overhead lights off. Hang on. Okay, that's with my overhead lights off. Still a bit glary. I don't know, I've got to work out how I can photograph these better. Anyway, that's the first one. <laughs> oh, let's get the second one out. All right, so this one had the um, had the zigzag swirl, didn't it? Yes, let's have a look and see what that one's going to do. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. I think I might have got it, you guys. I wonder what it's going to look like if I just go around this way. If the light's any better this way. I think that's better that way, is it? Got the window behind me. Alright, I'll we'll just move everything around. One sec. Right, oh, I just moved around the side. So I've got the window behind me. So there's that one. Hopefully it's not as glary. Colours don't seem, to, I mean the, the blue there is quite bright, but the other colours, maybe it's just the teal, it's just not a very bright colour. Probably could have chosen some better colours. But I've got the little tiny feathering, which is gorgeous. Love it. Now this one, what do I do with this one? This one looks as if it's a bit of a swirl as well. Tiny little bit of overflow there that I can trim off. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little bit of um, clear. You can see my finger through it. I mean, what's that? <laughs> Just a bit of clear. It didn't cover the whole surface. There we go. There's that one. Oh, I'm so glad it worked. This is the first time I've tried without the pinata white. Um, and I must say it, it is very different. So I guess that's why I haven't been all that successful. I mean, <clears throat> I have in a couple of videos, but then I do it again and it doesn't work. And I like that one. That's got a really pretty swirl. I really like that one. So, yeah, um, I saw Daniel doing his test the other day where he tested the um, pinata white and the let's resin white. And you could certainly see the difference. So I got my... Let's resin white out and to see if it made a difference and it sure did. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, that's so pretty. Love that. I always do like the um, this color scheme. The purple, put it that way. Purple, sort of pink and, and yellow because you get this really pretty orangish color. So you can see the difference. That was the pinata white. And it kind of went a bit blobby. Still pretty though. Like it gives more of a 3D wispy sort of effect. Whereas this one's more flat, I guess. Depends what you want. I mean, they're both beautiful. I think they're both beautiful. I don't think there's any winners or losers here. But I was just trying to go for this effect. And I'm so glad that I finally got it. I do like that circular swirl though. I, I just think it looks really pretty with the, the circular piece. This, these are quite big pieces. Um, nearly four centimeters across. This mold is available on my eBay store if anyone's wanting to make these and wants something a little bit bigger and dependent. See, this fits this bezel. Uh, I think it's a 38 millimeter. This pops in there really nicely. Look at that. Don't have to do anything with it. You just have to glue it in. Really pretty. 
Uh, they also come in the oval size. Oh, you can't see where I'm pointing, but the oval size. With the hearts, I haven't found that size in the bezel, but um, you can put those little, um, what do they call those little snap things that go on the top? You could use those. But yeah, it's a lovely mould. I did buy the, um, you know, the, the cheaper heart mould, and I only got like three or four uses out of it, and it lost its shine. See, that's a pretty sh um, swirl there. Yeah, it lost its shine, so I couldn't use it again, which is really disappointing. So that's when I decided to make my own. Because you get much, much more uses out of one of these than you do those clear, sort of an opaque mould, isn't it, to the other one? You know the ones I'm talking about, those chibi ones. Anyway, you get what you pay for, hey. As I say, pay peanuts, get monkeys. Oh, that was the swirly one, hey, the zigzag. What's that in the middle? I don't know. Don't know what that is. <laughs> it's really pretty. So what do you think? Do you prefer that one to that one? Which do you prefer? Nice little experiment, isn't it? Now my next experiment I'm going to do is with um, just the alcohol inks. just resin alcohol inks um, and I'll put the white on top instead of using the opaques you know how I had a teensy little bit of teensy little bit of resin left over went from this pour I poured it into an oval after you guys had gone <laughs> just to see what it would do and um, you can see it's much darker on top that was blue that was the opaques there had the white in it you can hardly see I did um, um, purple and teal, purple and teal, uh, purple and sky, purple and sky it was. So you can see there, that's the back. And then that's the front. Look at that. So that really worked nicely too, didn't it? Love it. I think it's a bit brighter than the ones that with the opaque that you've added that have got the white already in it so I'm going to be doing these next time I'll do an experiment um, and then I'm also going to experiment with different brands because not everyone can get let's resin so that'll be coming up soon as well so anyway hope you've enjoyed that little video there'll be more to come I'm enjoying doing these um, yeah if let me know if you want to buy one of these little pendants I'll um, pop them up in my eBay store. Nice and cheap to post anyway, to ship. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.